So what's the deal with rental guarantees as far as turnkey rental properties go? So rental guarantee in itself is when the turnkey provider says, hey, listen, this property, we're expecting to get $1,100 a month in rent. The current tenants are paying that. However, if something happens during the span of this rental guarantee, we're going to still pay you the rental amount. So if the tenant stops paying or they get evicted or there's a vacancy or a turnover or whatever, you're still going to be making that $1,100 a month. They're paying it to you, which, hello, is awesome. It's exactly what the name says. It's a rental guarantee. So I'm going to, before I tell you about rental guarantees today, I'm going to kind of hop back in time to when these things were a huge marketing deal. So in 2011, 2012, when I started buying turnkey rental properties, keep in mind, this was in the middle of the crash. Prices are so low. Investors are flocking onto turnkey rental properties, all properties, but even turnkey rental properties like crazy. There were also a million turnkey providers, like everyone and their mothers had decided to start a turnkey company. So because of the competition and how fast people were buying, a lot of the companies, and I'd even say maybe the majority of them, started offering rental guarantees because it's like, hey, what's going to make the investor buy from us? And we want to guarantee our work so you can feel confident investing in our properties because you're going to make that rent for, I think back then it was typically like a 12-month rental guarantee, maybe six months, depending on whatever. Cool totally legit idea it works i mean it's it, the premise of it and the idea of it is fantastic but somewhere along the lines rental guarantees actually start getting a really bad reputation here's why what a lot of people had done the providers they i don't want to say they fluffed their numbers but they kind of fluffed their numbers meaning they in this specific case overestimated the rent amount that this pro a particular property could bring in. So for example, I had a, this actually happened to me on my, I think it was my second rental property that I ever bought. Uh, when I bought it, the tenants who were in the property uh, were paying $1,200 a month. So all of my numbers and all of my projected uh, cash flow percentages, cap rates, cash on cash was based on $1,200 a month because I was like, oh, tenants are paying that. That's legit. And there's a rental guarantee. So like, pff, sure thing, right? Well, it turns out when a lot of the companies were, I don't know how they did it, but I don't want to say they were full on duping tenants, but $1,200 was never the market rent on that property. It was really closer to about a thousand a month, uh, 1050 on a good day. So what happened was I get snoofed in based on this rental guarantee of $1,200 a month and my numbers look fantastic. Well, the minute those tenants left and the rental guarantee was over, guess what? I now didn't have any tenants to pay $1,200 a month. And the timing of it worked out such that there was some vacancy time after the rental guarantee because these tenants, notoriously, if you get tenants in who are overpaying, they're probably not going to last very long for a multitude of reasons. So they left early. I think, I think it was eviction. I don't remember, but basically the rental guarantee runs out. I now have a vacant house and worse to get new tenants. I can't get new tenants at $1,200 a month. I can get them for a thousand dollars a month, which is a big difference. It's a $200 a month difference in cash flow. So that's what really gave rental guarantees a bad reputation because so many companies were doing this and they were kind of scamming in certain tenants to overpay and then they're learning you with the rental guarantee all to find out that you're never going to make that much down the line i mean maybe like you know now that property makes twelve hundred dollars a month but it's now nine years later um so then it got to the point where people were actually kind of starting to bash if they were vetting turnkey providers and they found out a turnkey provider offered a rental guarantee they automatically assumed that turnkey provider was shady which seems completely counter to what was supposed to have happened and been the intention of rental guarantees. Now, some of the providers offered rental guarantees and some providers today offer rental guarantees that are completely on the up and up and it's fine. And it's actually for market rent and it is actually to help the investor and to help them feel comfortable in, you know, taking the leap into that property. Cool. But there was this phase of like a few years where people were just terrified of rental guarantees thinking, uh, scam. So they would stay away from those companies. Over time, as like as we got out of the crash and as investors weren't buying as quickly, a lot of those turnkey companies fell out. And so 
the turnkey companies that are still in existence today who weathered that whole thing are pretty solid. They've got a good foundation. Like they are pretty legit companies. Whereas 2011, 2012, everyone had become a turnkey provider. So today in turnkey world, I've heard of maybe a couple that offer rental guarantees, one of which specifically offers it because they sell their properties without tenants in it. Like you buy the vacant property, which that alone I'm kind of opposed to for numerous reasons, but that makes sense because it's like, well, why you're supposed to be buying a cash flowing turnkey property, which means you need to be making income from day one. And if there aren't tenants in it, then how are you going to do that? So they offer this rental guarantee saying, Hey, we'll pay you the rental amount for three months until, you know, we'll get a tenant somewhere in that span, but at least for three months you're covered so you can pay your mortgage and all that kind of stuff. Cool. So today's with the, today with the rental guarantees, I occasionally have people ask saying, oh, well, I definitely want to go with this company because they offer a rental guarantee. Maybe. Awesome. If, it, if they're doing it completely on the up and up and the market rents are as suggested, fantastic. But the key for you as a turnkey buyer is to make sure you use a link uh, like Rent Facts Pro. I can put a link in the comments or um, I'm blanking on one of the other names. Um, find out, run comps and find out, maybe even call some third party pro property managers, third party property managers and see what the actual market rent for that property is and make sure the rental guarantee is based on that and not some fluffed up number. For the record, I don't see that happening much these days, which is fantastic, but just make sure you double check. And so if you were around in the earlier days and you got a really sour taste in your mouth about rental guarantees, the flip side to that is don't rule out a company just because they offer it, because it might be a really fantastic offering. So I hope that helps clarify a little bit on the rental guarantees. If not, leave me a comment, ask questions, because it's kind of like, you know, is it clear as mud? type of thing but yeah so rental guarantees awesome but make sure it's based on the actual uh realistic numbers that you can get on that property